All right, they actually actually went back and checked. They have some new commissions that opened up, but I just I cannot be fucked to care anymore. Like now that I know I'm locked into the bad ending, I don't give a fuck anymore about the commissions available. I actually did get I think two like two of them plus all the extra item shit on top of it. Just from uh, going through the Generation 3 DLC dungeon, but I'm not going to walk all the fucking way back around to the portal, teleport back there, then come back here, then walk all the fuck like, nah, I don't care. Maybe <laughs> ことよ知りたいのであれば。ゆくも地獄。面白い。どその件は返しておこう。母様。恋人であれば扱えよ。剣を取り。どちらを打つ Ooh, do I not? No, they said, they said, they said. Once. Oh, we have to fight her too? Like, I was supposed to get the choice, some choice at the end. I don't even know if I already mentioned this. I was supposed to get some choice during that end event. If I was capable of getting a normal ending. And I wasn't. Oops. No, he's not. Does he even look like your brother? No, we don't. So we are gonna have to brawl with her. Good thing I didn't put her back in my party. Good. You are a bitch, and I will gladly beat the shit out of you. Can we just throw down already? Shit. This is the worst part about JRPGs is like, you just, you, you're ready to throw down. You're ready to push somebody shit in. And they're like, nah. We gotta have a 15 minute monologue first. See, it's not gonna be over yet. We're not gonna go, oh my god, it's over? Wow. I'm actually, like, legitimately surprised there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually legitimately surprised. Oh, obviously we're gonna blow up. Wow, I cannot believe I got to move first. Obviously we're gonna get to blow up Ava. What is she absorbing? Wind? I don't even think I have any wind attacks. First turn overkill, yeah, baby. The effects of easy mode showing up. Wow, we may actually. Ooh, that just barely, just barely. Fuck you. Alright, I'll let him rock, because he's probably, he's probably got some interesting attacks. Maybe. Or they'll just be the same kind of attacks we've already seen everything of.
It is like, it is legitimately silly. <laughs> How strong my part, like. Oh shit. That's legitimately fucking silly. Fucking counter, man. Alright, well. That means y'all gone fucking to aww, aww, and aww. <laughs> That's sad, man. Who's. Fuck it. Just fuck it. Damn it. Whatever. I'll just go with Light Brigade then. I wanted to get that shit that, uh. The EX skill that lowers. The amount of, uh... Oh, wow, I'm not using that dude's square attacks. Goddamn. That drain strength shit was just a bad fucking idea. Here's where the fun begins. So, uh, yeah, easy mode. Huh? How about that? It's stupid, like, how difficult. I mean, it was still, it was, it never got, like, retarded hard. But it was still somewhat difficult in the beginning of the game, like, when you have no statistics, when you have barely any stats whatsoever. When, I don't think, none of this even matters. Like, the game's over, as far as I'm aware, right? Unless we have to go kill Mobius, but whatever. It's not like that fight had any indication that, like, I'm going to need these stats that they just got. But yeah, like, I don't know. Oh, I should write down stuff. Oh, the end is now, bitch. Take that shit and just behead her. Kill everything. Let's go. Oh, Ava disappeared. All right, that's fine, too. Take that shit and behead the shit out of chaos. Let's go. I bet he's just saying that. He's just like, just get this over with, just kill me already. Jesus, stop, just shut just shut up. I will say whatever you want to get me to, to get you to kill me faster. So I don't have to listen to you talk anymore. I don't get it. Jude isn't even a guardian. Like I thought they said it had to be a guardian that would, that could kill it. And Jude's not a guardian. Oh, you know what? Now that I remember, Janus was a guardian. Was he? Janus was a guardian. He got kicked out for using a gun. So I guess, maybe I guess that still counts. Oh, is he gonna go jump in that pit? Yo, damn. 
Hmm? But then they won't be able to kill any other gods. What if somebody else wants to kill a god? I want to kill a god. Give me the sword! Maybe if you told us how we were supposed to handle our shit and not, you know, sit on your asses for however God knows how long it's fucking been, we would have been able to do the correct thing, but no. You just gotta fucking stay silent and not say a word to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> because we really needed that laugh to understand that you were not a good dude. Oh, it really it just goes straight into credits after that. After that dumbass laugh, it just goes straight into credits. Awesome. Well, normally this would be the point in time in a playthrough where I would like talk about my thoughts of the game, whatever, but y'all watched it. Y'all watched it, y'all heard it, you don't need my thoughts. They're very, they're very, just to summarize in case you haven't watched and you don't know for whatever reason. I hate the battle system, I think it's terrible. Because I feel like they left over far too many things, far too many aspects of, a strategy, of the strategy RPG system, which were frustrating then, like the item range limits. That shit sucked back then, I hated it. But it kind of made sense because it made your placement on the map more important. You know, it added to the strategy, even though, you know, sometimes you just couldn't control it. At least, at the very sense, you had that excuse of, oh, it's a strategy RPG, your strategy should be better to fall back on. You don't have this here. You, there's like, there's no reason to have range limits in a game where, like, the most you can do to control where somebody is, is utilize formations, and that's not very controllable. Like, you're stuck with whatever four party members you have and the formation they provide. So, like, having the item range limit or the skill limits is stupid. Having the whole grid-based thing still exist. Like, honestly, the formations just by themselves, the fact that those exist were stupid because of how easy it was for, like, one of those big-ass enemies that take up nine squares to come onto your side of the grid to attack somebody and make it impossible, like, while they are still there, make it impossible for you to get back into a formation to actually do something. That was stupid. Like, I, I just, there's too many things that, <coughs> that make a little bit of sense in terms of a strategy RPG to exist, to be there, but that make no sense for this. Like, it shouldn't be there. There's also so many things that are like entirely unexplained or barely explained and like they explain it all at a time they just give you all the information at once even though like you're not actually in that situation and now you just don't understand like for instance skills for a long time I was sitting there like you know why what does it mean when the skills are red you know like when you equip a skill book to try and learn that shit I didn't know because they explain all that shit at the very beginning of the game when it's impossible. Nobody has a low enough level in any elemental attack to see a skill 
that's red and unlearnable at that point in time. So then later on, when it actually happens, you don't know what the fuck it means. It took me like, it took me a fair amount of time to figure out, oh, that's right, okay, it has to do with the skills up top, the levels, this skill level is higher than that, that kind of shit. Or information they just don't give you at all. Like, for instance, this entire time, I still don't know, like, when in the battle they have, like, the AP bonus and the SP bonus and the weight bonus and that shit, like, the grids on the right, I still don't know how those work. I don't know what they affect. I don't know if it grants you, like, the higher you get those grids, maybe it gives you, like, better, uh, a better grade at the end. You know how, like, you can, your battles are graded, you can either have an S or an A, whatever. Maybe it affects that. Maybe you get something new when you, like, I don't know, it doesn't, it never said anything about it. There's, I mean, like I said, there's just too much shit that goes unexplained like that. With the bat, I mean, the story is just... There's too much unnecessary shit that happens in the story. To be perfectly honest. Actually, I probably... Yeah, you probably have to continue it to get a new game plus. Let's see what goes over to a new game plus. I don't want to get into all the shit I feel about this game, because honestly, this is a game where you either got it and you know about it, or you will never hear about it. Like, no major media gaming sites review this game. They didn't review Zero, they won't review this one. It has a, it doesn't have a Metacritic score. It's just, if you know about it, you know about it, and you know if you're gonna get it, so... Honestly, like, any kind of thoughts about it just doesn't, it, it doesn't matter. <coughs> I don't give a shit. This is the effect. Oh. Okay, so they have like, so it's like, it's like Tales of Vesperia's new game plus, like a grade shop, except it's not grade, it's these platinum soul coins that you have. So that's good, at least, so you have this shit, so like I said, the one thing that would probably prevent me from going back through the game was having to grind through all the monsters, but I can pick that. So that's good. I don't care about the special abilities, I don't think. I definitely don't care about shop registration. I never use that shit. I don't even know I don't even know what that means, to be perfectly honest. Gain an accept like what does that mean? Gain an accessory. Does that mean I actually have the accessories or do they just give me an accessory? I don't what the fuck? Oh, okay, so it highlights it. Okay, so that's good to know that I can, I mean, obviously I'm definitely fucking doing that one. I don't care, like I said, I don't give a shit about shop registration. I really don't understand, like, is that the same, why would they not just put it as inherent accessory if that's what it is? I'm assuming that's what it is, it has to be what it is. But why would they not, like, explain that shit? So, shit. I don't even know, like, I don't care about items. <laughs> I never used items. It's it's easy mode. Like, you don't have to give a shit about items in easy mode. Actually, I guess, because then I'd lose, hmm. Okay, fuck accessories. I'm taking the item. Well, no. I don't even know what I want to do. It's so, it's so, it's so confused, and I guess I should have played more. Actually, I don't think anything but bosses dropped these types of coins, so I don't think it would have even mattered either way. Unless there was some, like, method to change, like, the gold coins into play. I don't even know. See, the problem is... Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, what are secret arts and what are active skills? Like, are secret arts the... All the regular skills and the active skills are, like... Are there, like, the EX skills or something? I don't know what that fucking means. I'll just pick that one, and I'll pick this one, and we'll fucking see, I guess. Oh, you know what? See, the issue with doing this, and not taking the items, is that I'll be able to pass all this monster killed shit, but I won't be able to pass, like, the items and stuff. Ooh. Anyway, there's no reason to make you watch this. You saw the ending and shit. I'll figure this out. <laughs>